Okay, the fourth example. B E B A and B E are opposite rays, and B C bisects measure of angle A B D. Okay, so that means um, this is a line, right? Because they're opposite rays, so they're just saying that it forms a line. B C bisects this angle A B D. That means since it bisects it, they are the same uh, measure. They have, they're equal. Okay, so if measure of angle ABC equals 4x plus 1, measure of angle CBD equals 6x minus 15, then find measure of angle CBD. So we have these two angles. Now when you draw a little um, line like that, that just means that they're congruent to each other, they're equal, okay? And then um, if you have two other angles that are not the same as that, then, so let's say these two angles are the same, then you can just draw these two because you, do, you did one for each of these to show that um, all the angles that you drew one for are congruent. Then the next pair of congruent angles, will, you, you can just draw two. So, measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD is going to be measure of angle ABD. But then, they're actually wanting you to find the measure of angle CBD, and this is um, the angle bisector, right? So I can just make them equal to each other. So let me just solve it down here. So 4x plus 1 is equal to 6x minus 15. Okay, I need to solve for x. So if I subtract the 6x over, I get negative. Let's write out the answer. Negative 2x, subtract the 1, and I get negative 16. So x equals 8. Okay. But they want you to find the measure of angle CBD. That means once you find x, you have to plug it back in to... Uh, measure of angle C, B, D. That's 6 times 8 minus 15. This is 48 minus 15 is 33. So measure of angle C, B, D equals 33. Number 2. Measure of angle D, B, C, D, B, C is 12N minus 8. Measure of angle A, B, D, the whole thing is 22N minus 11. Find the measure of angle A, B, C. So they give you this whole thing right here. And they want, or they give you D, B, C, and they give you A, B, D and they want you to find this angle right here. So since we know that this and this are the same, they have the same measure, this whole thing would be two times one of these, right? So if this is 10, then this has to be 10, then the whole thing is 20. So I can do 12n minus 8 plus 12n minus 8, right? Because this is also 12n minus 8, it's the same thing equals 22n minus 11, the whole thing. Or you can just do 2 times 12n minus 8 because it's uh, just this angle times 2 equals ABD. So I'm just going to do that. Number 2 is 2 times 12n minus 8 equals 22n minus 11. So this is going to be, I use distributive property. This is 24n minus 16 equals 22n minus 11. If I subtract this, I get 2n add, the, add it over. Okay, I get 5. So n equals 5 over 2. Okay. And then, um, so n 
is 5 over 2, and then we have to find measure of angle ABC. So as long as I, now they don't give me something for ABC, <clears throat> but as long as I find what DBC is, then that's the same measure, right? So I just do 12, substitute in the N minus 8. This becomes 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So 30 minus 8 is 22. That means measure of angle ABC is 22. Okay, the last one, if measure of angle EBD, this one right here, is 115, find the measure of the angle supplementary to angle EBD. So, supplementary, it's asking me to find the supplement of this angle, right? So remember supplementary is 180, so two angles that add up to 180. So it's 115 plus something, which is x, is going to add up to 180, okay? So you're going to subtract it, right? x is equal to 65 degrees, okay? So this would be the supplement of angle EBD. Alright, well, that's it for this lesson. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching educator.com.